The Tesla Cybertruck has already managed to earn the title of the most polarizing electric vehicle in the history of automaking, and it feels like it's the only EV everyone is talking about these days. However, the market of electric pickup trucks is actually developing pretty fast, and in this episode, we will be covering the models that have already been unveiled and will be taking a stand against the Tesla's creation in the nearest future. Do not think twice to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's explore the world of futuristic pickups. To get on the hype train, the reveal of the Neuron EV coincided with the Cybertruck and, at least in terms of aesthetic appeal, it is a clear winner in the standoff against the Tesla. The Los Angeles-based startup claims that this is the world's first modular electric utility vehicle built over the skateboard platform that can take the shape of a pickup, a bedless truck, and a cargo van. Additionally, depending on the needs of the buyer, the cabin could be configured to accommodate from just one to six passengers. Very little is known about the tech specs of the T1, but for the fact that its multi-source propulsion system draws power from an all-electric traction battery pack. The new generation of electric vehicles by Ford was started by the Mustang-styled crossover. Next in line is the Ford F-150-based electric pickup. It is likely to share its underpinnings with the Rivian R1T since the blue oval has an ownership stake in the Michigan startup. The test mules of the newcomer look almost identical to Ford's bestseller truck, which is a rather appealing feature to the conservative buyers. The preliminary performance data is scarce, but we already know that the mighty truck possesses immense torque. This was demonstrated in Canada when the upcoming F-150 pulled 10 double-decker freight carts loaded with 42 internal combustion trucks for 1,000 feet. This electric truck by the New York startup company Bollinger first surfaced in its prototype form at the 2018 LA Auto Show and in 2020, it is expected to finally hit the assembly lines. The B2 pickup is propelled by the 120 kilowatt hour battery and the dual motor all wheel drive setup delivering 614 horses and 668 pound feet. This drivetrain is reported to ensure excellent acceleration to 60 in 4.5 seconds and the maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. The truck's range, however, is rather modest by the current standards, being limited to 200 miles. The main advantages of the B2 are its 5,000-pound payload rating, extendable bed length, 3 feet water wading capability, and variable ground clearance.
Already regarded as Tesla's main competitor, the American startup Rivian is now racing to bring its all-electric pickup to production by the end of 2020. More traditional looking than the recently revealed Cybertruck, the R1T is expected to appeal to those drivers who want an everyday vehicle with excellent utility capabilities and solid overlanding potential. For this purpose, the truck will arrive in three modifications. Offering from 400 to 750 horses of output, a range between 230 and 400 miles, and a max towing of 11,000 pounds. It will also get optional factory-made camping accessories like a pull-out kitchen, and plenty of standard off-road perks, such as 14 inches of ground clearance, 3 feet water wading capabilities, and standard all-wheel drive. This is the first vehicle by the US-based Atlas that aims to demonstrate that going electric does not mean compromising on utility and off-road capability. The pickup is built on a company-developed skateboard platform with four-wheel drive and four independent motors. Its battery is also all new, created specifically for the automotive industry. It has modular design, excellent thermal efficiency, and a scalable size starting from 125 kilowatt hour and allowing the XT truck to cover 300 to 500 miles on a charge. The company plans to offer the model in two cab designs, four door and crew, and two bed sizes, 6.5 or 8 feet, offering up to 5,000 pounds of payload capacity. Workhorse specializes in manufacturing of commercial transport, gradually moving towards electric vehicles. Their first prototype, labeled W15, was designed to tackle the major problem that plagues modern EVs, inadequate range. The 60 kilowatt hour battery pack is large enough to cover 80 miles of loaded driving, but if the crew needs to service an out-of-town site, the 1.3 liter internal combustion engine kicks in to juice the vehicle and extend its range to 310 miles. Powered by a duo of electric motors with 460 horsepower combined output, this pickup can tow up to 5,000 pounds and carry 2,200 pounds of payload. It must be mentioned that the Workhorse Enterprise recently branched out and will be developing an all-electric pickup under the Lordstrom brand called Endurance. Creasel Electric is an Austrian manufacturer of charging infrastructure and battery tech for electric vehicles that became internationally famous thanks to their electric G-Wagon SUV and Hummer H1 truck promoted by Arnold Schwarzenegger. The latter was built in 2017, scoring a 490 horsepower drivetrain and a 100 kilowatt hour battery, good for 186 miles of range. In addition, 
it demonstrated lively driving with 75 mile per hour and 0 to 60 acceleration in 5.6 seconds. The unveil of the model also marked the establishment of Creasel's new research and development center. So hopefully, we will be seeing a production ready electric model from the brand sometime in the future. This truck is destined to become the most controversial electric vehicle in the history of automaking. It has unbeatable capabilities, acceptable pricing, but the looks are polarizing to say the least. The upcoming Tesla has a unibody construction and unique stainless steel exterior which was developed for SpaceX Starship. The Cybertruck is impact resistant and its windows should protect you from small caliber rounds, though this feature is questioned after the failed presentation at the reveal. Its ginormous battery will have up to 500 miles range, can tow 14,000 pounds, and drives either as a sports car or a true off-roader with 16 inches of clearance and air suspension. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.